everyone, this is Hannah, and I hope that you enjoyed the video I did about the two polyphemus models emerging, drawing their wings, and the male and female differences. Unfortunately, it didn't end well for the first two polyphemus moths. They did not survive because they were not able to be released into the wild due to bad weather. There was lots of cold wind blowing. And the moths didn't seem like they would do good in the wild. So I had to keep them in. The female emerged on April 22nd, which was an exciting day. Not just the first polyphemus moth emerging, but finding a luna moth and an eastern tiger swallowtail. For just in case if you're wondering what happened to the luna moth and eastern tiger swallowtail, the luna moth unfortunately didn't make it. Luna moths and other silk moths do not live very long because they lack functional mouth parts. So, while they are alive in their adult form, their only purpose is simply to breed. Perhaps this male luna moth has already mated and completed his goal in his short insect life. It would have been nice to release both the luna moth and eastern tiger swallowtail back into the wild at the same time the next day, but unfortunately that did not happen. The luna moth died overnight. Thankfully, the next morning the eastern tiger swallowtail was still alive, so I took him outside and opened up the butterfly enclosure. He stayed there for a few minutes, soaking in the bright sunlight. Then, as I reached out and tried to pick him up again, he took off and flew towards the beautiful, bright sun, surrounded by a halo. Goodbye, little butterfly! I hope you live a good butterfly life out there in the wild. I feel very bad for the luna moth and the two polyphemus moths that did not survive. But, things are looking much better for polyphemus moth 3. The weather is better, and he is ready to fly. Updates on Polyphemus Moth 3 and the remaining cocoons will be coming soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye everyone.